The overall goal of this procedure is to manipulate the impact of synaptic inputs on neuronal processing using microiontophoretic injections of neuroactive substances in awake animals. This method can help to disentangle key functional issues in sensory systems such as the role of the neurotransmitters and their interaction on sensory stimuli encoding. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the manipulation of local synaptic inputs to the target neurons and the study of neuromodulatory systems without being affected by anesthesia. So this protocol was used here in restrained mice. It can also be used in other small mammals, such as bats, rats, or even guinea pigs. To begin this procedure, place the tungsten wires in a custom-built alignment tool for cutting. Carefully attach the loose ends of the wires with adhesive tape and cut them to the desired length. Next, pull the tape gently in order to remove the tungsten wires from the alignment tool, making sure that all the wires remain attached to the tape. Then, roll the tape onto a polished brass spindle and hold the wires firmly against the spindle so there is a good electrical connection. After that, connect the spindle to a 5 RPM motor in the workstation. The spindle axis is angled 45 degrees relative to the surface of the etching solution. Subsequently, immerse one-third of the wires in the solution. Next, immerse a carbon rod electrode into the etching bath to close the circuit. Turn on the workstation so the spindle starts to rotate.